Hello and welcome back to the 13th day of the NA10 series. So far, we have seen all types of uh, triggers and we have also covered how do we connect with Gemini, OpenAI and also Publicity. In this week, we are going to see how we can use all the options available in the node called Gemini. So Gemini has options of generating images, videos, analyzing the image and video. It also has analyzing your audio file and it also has something to do with documents and a few more options. So this week entirely we will dedicate for Gemini and see how we can utilize Gemini in our NA10 automation. So without making you wait any further, let's get started with image generation and analysis using Gemini on N8N. So I'll create a new workflow and as always, we will have blank canvas opened up Add first step shown at the center. So I'll go here and I'll mention Gemini image and let's go here and it could be a trigger manually thing or manual trigger as the first step and let's go to Gemini right so we covered Google Gemini chat model but what we are looking at today is Google Gemini okay so we have analyze audio transcriber recording analyze document upload a file analyze image generate an image message a model analyze video generate a video download a video so we will cover all of this during this week and i hope you will be able to implement these functionalities in your day-to-day -day automation so in today's video we are going to talk about image firstly to generate an image and then to analyze the image so i'll use this generate an image and we've already connected our account so i'll be using uh, that we have already shown how do you connect google gemini in your anaten account in the previous week uh, so i hope you've already done that as you can see we have connected up to five or six accounts here uh, but one of the things that you have to keep in mind is your Google account needs to be connected with a billing account, which means your credit card needs to be connected and Google should be able to uh, charge you basis the usage that you're doing. Only then you will be able to use this uh, model to generate image or videos. So I'll quickly show you the pricing and uh, where do you have to go for the uh, billing. So if we come to ai.google.dev slash Gemini, dash api slash docs slash pricing then you can see the pricing for all the different models right so if you go to gemini then you can see what are the models available and uh, what are its um, what is the inputs required output what is the optimized what is it optimized for and stuff like that let's go to image in right you can check out uh, how this model works and so on and so forth let's go to the pricing here Okay, and you can check uh, what are the pricing for different models. So for example, Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, is their state-of-the-art multi-purpose model which excels at coding and complex reasoning tasks, right? Free tire, this is free of charge. Uh, the paid tier per 1 million tokens in USD, it costs you $1.25, right? Uh, likewise, output price, you can see here, context caching, caching price uh, not available right uh, in the free uh, tier but in paid plan they have likewise we have Gemini 2.5 flash our first hybrid reasoning model which supports a 1 million token context window and has thinking budgets uh, likewise we have 2.5 flash light and so on so forth so let's quickly go to the image okay image in for preview uh, as you can see in the free tire it's not available whereas in the paid plan for the image in 4 standard image price is uh, 0 0.04 dollars per image basically and the ultra image will cost you uh, 0 0.06 dollars per image okay if you go to image in 3 then they have a different pricing here vo3 preview uh, vo3 fast preview uh, all of this is uh, based for i mean all of this is 
meant for video generation and they have its own pricing here. Uh, VO2 also we have. So you can check out these things and if you feel that pricing is something that uh, matches your uh, budget, then you can go ahead with this. And for the billing, you have to go to console.cloud.google.com slash billing and you have to create your billing account. Uh, you have to connect it to project and that's when you can use it in your uh, Gemini note. So we have already done that. We won't be able to cover this because it requires long video. Uh, maybe we'll do that separately or we can share a video reference of uh, someone who has already explained this. So let's get back and I'll use one of the accounts. So once you get your uh, Google billing accounts and all of that sorted, you can come over here and connect your uh, account. So host remains as is, API key, I'll add the new one. We've already shown how do you get the API key from Google AI Studio. So click on save and your account now has uh, ability to generate the image. So let's quickly uh, go to models. And uh, like I mentioned, we have uh, image in 3.0 generate, image in 4.0 generate preview 0606. Image in 4.0 Ultra Generate Preview 0606. Um, let's go with the basic model, which is 3.0 Generate. And I'll mention uh, Generate a Motivational Quote on Business, right? Now in the options, we have number of images and we have put output in field. Uh, so whatever output we are getting, that is basically the image, uh, we can ask it to put in this particular data type, right? So it could be uh, data, it could be image, it could be anything that you want the field to be called as. Number of images in uh, image in 3.0 generate and image in 4.0 generate preview 0606, you can generate up to four images while 4.0 ultra generates only one image at a time. So let me give, let's say three and let me execute this step and we should be able to see three images generated so you can see here click on view it opens up the image uh, as you can see uh, the spelling has mistakes and that's how ai generates images um, with latest models it's getting better and better but this is what it is right now if i go to image in four ultra and execute step we should get some error and it should it says that uh 4.0 ultra must be just one like the number the count should be one so i'll make it as one and now execute step we should get an output i hope the spelling mistakes will be avoided or at least reduced so let's view it Okay, there you go. Success is not built on dreams, but on the disciplined execution of those dreams without any spelling mistake. And that's the power of Imagine 4.0 Ultra, right? Now, we have generated image and it is stored in the image field. Let's go to the next step, right? Again, I'll use Gemini. And uh, this time I'm going to use Analyze Image. Model, we can use... Uh, 2.5 uh, Pro or Flash. Okay, these are the latest models. Let's go with Pro, right? And text input could be what's in this image. Basically, we are analyzing the image, right? So we could mention uh, what text post can be written to go with the image, which will be shared on link in uh, image url so we are telling that the input type is uh, image url but what we have got is binary file so i'll use that and input data field name is data it says but we have image here because we have changed it right so i'll make it as image and simplify output will give you a very simple output uh, if you uh, uncheck this or toggle this off then the output will have all the other details you can try it out. 
So length of the description, uh, we have tried that if you give it uh, to 300 or 600, this does not work. It says, uh, I mean, the output will be empty. So either give it anything more than 1000 or leave it empty. So execute step, it takes a while because it has to understand what is there in the image and then it has to generate the text. So as we can see, we have got the text and it says, of course, this is a great image for LinkedIn as it touches on the themes of ambition, hard work and all of that, right? And then it gives option one, option two and so on and so forth. Now, this is what we saw while we were generating an image and text with OpenAI. So we have to refine the prompt a bit and we will mention note, do not include any other text while responding. I should be able to use the output text directly to be posted on LinkedIn without making any further changes. Let's see if it understands what we are looking for. And there you go. So it's easy to get lost in the dreams, the big vision and the end goal, the what if. But as this image powerfully reminds us, visions don't blind themselves. So now it has not given us any uh, additional text, right? So this can directly go on to uh, LinkedIn. Now you've got the text that can be posted on LinkedIn along with the image. You can use both of them to be posted on LinkedIn, which we have already covered in the last week when we explored image generation using OpenAI. So I would like to cover one more thing in this video. So if we go to uh, analyze the video, then we have uh, two options in, in uh, input type. One is image URL and one is binary file. What we explored was binary file. Now, if you want to use image URL, then what we have to do is the URL needs to end with image.png or something like that. Okay, and it should be publicly accessible. For the image URL, we need to give a publicly accessible uh, URL. So let me get an image from uh, Drive. So I've got this image in the Google Drive and we need to get the ID of this file. And for that, you can open a new tab and you get the ID here. Take the ID from here, which is basically after D slash all the way until slash view. And uh, you have to copy this particular link from uh, here. We would add that in the description. Okay, as you can see, it is HTTPS double colon double slash drive dot user content dot google dot com slash UC question mark ID equals to whatever ID we have and export equals to download, right? So I'll copy this, go back to our N8 and flow, paste this particular uh, link and remove this ID from this URL and paste this ID over here, right? So when you do this, you will get the output basis this particular URL. Let's quickly check that. As we have already seen, the image is of a cat. And you can see here, in a world of constant noise, sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is simply sit, watch, and listen. My feline colleague is a master of observation, reminding me that taking a moment to fully assess a situation before acting leads to better, more thoughtful outcomes. What's your strategy for cutting through the noise and finding focus? So you can see that Gemini has come up with such a fantastic message that can be posted on LinkedIn for the image which had just cat sitting there. So this is how you can use the URL uh, of an image to generate the post using analyze image. I hope this video was helpful and I also hope that you are practicing these sessions day by day. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in our WhatsApp community and we should be able to answer it one by one. Also, we are having weekly or sometimes bi-weekly sessions to focus on 
things that you want to learn okay which are not done during these videos but outside this week so please do join those calls so we can share knowledge with each other and learn and grow together thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one